Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Hack That Funnel Radio. Today, we have something very, very special. We have a special interview with Amanda Dake, who is not only a hockey mom, she is also a speaker, author, and creator of The Funnel Kitchen. I have spent the last five years building hundreds of marketing funnels and systems for over 100 clients, and I can tell you, most of you are skipping the most important part of the funnel build. There is a secret step-by-step blueprint that makes every sales funnel profitable. What is it? That is the question, and this podcast is the answer. My name is Ben Moot, and this is Hack That Funnel Radio. So, Amanda, thank you for coming on the podcast. I really appreciate it. I love being able to talk with you. Thank you for being on. I appreciate it. Thanks, Ben. I'm super excited to be here with you today. So, really quick, everybody gets into this funnel game a little bit different. Um, I know I came in back in, I, I came in officially in 2013 when ClickFunnels started, uh, or 2014 is when I came in. What was your story? Like, how did you get involved? Were you involved in this space before ClickFunnels existed? What's your story about why you came into this, this world? Well, uh, something that a lot of people may not know about me was I was a high school science teacher uh, for 12 years before I started this official entrepreneur journey. And uh, after 12 years of that, um, you know, I realized my purpose here is to have as much impact on as many people as possible. And while I was impacting, you know, people while I was teaching, it just wasn't big enough for me, right? I was only able to reach about 120, 150 kids uh, a year. Um, And I knew that I just needed more. And um, not only that, you know, teachers just don't make a lot of money (laughs) and it takes a lot of time. Uh, And so there were a lot of other factors that came into my decision to just uh, leave that career and start something on my own. Um, so in 2011, I started my own business and I was basically just helping different businesses with their social media. Um, you know, Facebook was relatively new at that time. Twitter was brand new, uh, at that time. And, um, WordPress was king really, uh, for webs every, every website, every business had some type of WordPress something. Um, so really I was self-taught to master all of these systems. And I started helping local restaurants and uh, businesses like a fitness studio and other things with their social media management, running um, very basic ads, because that's really the only kind of ads you could run back then, um, primarily for lead generation, not to make sales or anything online. Um, And then updating their current websites, not building new ones, but I realized these small businesses were spending thousands of dollars for these web developers to be on retainer, uh, to go in and update, say their hours of operation or add a new photo or something like that. So my goal for these businesses was to help them save time and save money and maximize what it is that they're trying to do in the community. So that worked out really, really well. And I, Just like with funnels, I was able to go out, like I set my intention, I went out and I got, you know, four or five clients and that replaced my income as a teacher and allowed me to have the freedom and flexibility that I wanted to have in my life. So one of my clients, uh, his name is Seth Humphrey. He's actually been my performance coach uh, for the last four years. And, um, but he is the fitness owner that I was helping with his social media and his lead gen and everything like that. Well, Seth went through a program much like Garrett White's warrior training. In fact, the, his coaches were graduates of that training. So it was kind of like a, a level down from Garrett's program. Mm-hmm. Well, Garrett White is a huge proponent of ClickFunnels, right? And he's been in since the beginning. And in Garrett's program, not only does he focus on, you know, your fitness and your family and everything else like that, he also focuses on helping you increase your business. And naturally, he was telling all of the people in his program to use ClickFunnels. So Seth said, hey, we're getting ready to use ClickFunnels. (laughs) You need to figure out what that is because we're going to start doing it. And I was like, okay. This was back in 2014 when basically ClickFunnels was just born, like very much beta and maybe even just right out of beta. So I was like, all right, let's go. And 
So I taught myself the platform, relatively simple to use. Uh, it was the first uh, version of it, which I think is called the classic editor. Now, if you go in, you can see what it kind of looked like. Um, and I taught myself how to use that. I integrated with Infusionsoft, which was uh, still as complicated then as it is now. <laughs> and um, so I started using it. We got really great results using it. Um, and so I jumped right in, started following Russell Brunson at that time, bought his book.com secrets. Uh, he followed me around the internet after I bought that book. And then, then he had his first funnel hacking live event in 2015 in Las Vegas. Uh, I signed up to go to that. I'd never been to anything like that before. Remember I was a teacher and I, you know, I'm a mom in Oklahoma. Like I've never been to Las Vegas. I'd never been to a conference, especially one like that. Um, and I went and basically that is all she wrote. Like I signed up to become a certified partner at that event um, in 2015. And uh, yeah, it just took off. It's, it's just, it's really spectacular how things just kind of have fallen into place. Um, I remember at that first Funnel Hacking Live and all the other since, but Garrett White was a speaker. And really, if we boiled it down and took out all the layers, Garrett is why I was doing what I was doing, because he was coaching my guy on what to use. And so I remember I met him at, in person at that event and I cried, literally, uh, because it was like one of those full circle moments, like, oh my gosh, you're the reason that I'm here. And now I'm here talking with you and getting my picture with you. And it was, uh, it was a very powerful, emotional moment, but it just made me realize how sure my path was. Like it, it was, it was really awesome. Garrett commands this presence. And I, I love watching him speak every single time because it doesn't matter if he's on stage or you're watching him on video. The minute he gets on, he demands your attention and you listen because I don't think anybody knew this. He was a PE teacher too back in oh, the day. I didn't so, know that. Yeah, he was a PE teacher. So when you hear him yelling and staring at I imagine myself as an 11-year-old going on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's exactly like he used to be a PE teacher. And he okay, that's awesome. Into this calling. So that's really cool that everyone's coming yeah. from an education background. I think it's interesting too that everyone's coming from this education background is trying to create a bigger education, a bigger movement, and a bigger change. Yeah. You're making you're doing the exact same thing, but you're playing in the funnel space and helping people understand how to build funnels that will change lives. Right. right. And that's the funnel kitchen? Funnel kitchen, yeah. I do. I help a lot of different types of businesses and people, but I love working with coaches and consultants and others that want to have like more massive impact on the people they're trying to help. And uh, what I'm able to do is really help them uh, create more leverage in their business uh, with online courses. And, you know, I have a master's degree in education and uh, I actually started working on my PhD uh, for a while. And so my experience in education uh, paired with their level of genius and their goals, it really helps solidify their product or offering that they can reach more people. So a lot of the people that I work with, they, and most of us had started out working one-on-one -on -one with clients, right? And there's only so much of us to go around and one-on-one -on -one, while it's really important to have those types of clients, I think don't ever, I don't ever want to get rid of that part, but it's really hard when you're starting out to command the type of prices to make it worth it. Um, as well as, you know, you want to be able to help more people than just that one-on-one -on -one experience, even though exponentially, you know, you're helping more people because by helping that one coach, they're going to go and help more of their people. And then you see what I'm saying, but yeah. at the same time, you want to, you want to be able to help more people at once. So what I love helping people do is break out of the one-to-one -one and add in, I call it a three-pronged business model. It's part of my training, but we break out of the one-to-one uh, -one model and add in a one-to-many as well as a leveraged leg. So then you have this complete three-pronged business that is running like clockwork. And I love helping people set that up and put all the pieces in place. Got it. So you do that for, for your clients. Is that also what you teach in the Funnel Kitchen? So Funnel Kitchen is kind of like you can learn how to do it here. And then you come, come to Amanda in order to get it all done. 
Well, there's different, different ways to do it. I don't teach that training is not available just in the funnel kitchen online portal. Um, but it is available in my eight week program. That's a group uh, program because it's a very big part of what you need to learn through clarity, goal setting and all of that. Like, where are you even going in your business? Right. We, we do that first. Um, and then, yes, if people hire me to work one on one um, or even VIP uh, consultation days, I can do that, too. Uh, we definitely that is definitely a big part of it, um, because if you don't know, first of all, what your goals are and if you don't know what your offers are right and what your business model really is, it's really pointless to be building out all these funnels and all this infrastructure without all of that first. And so that's where, like, so my eight week program is called CTA. Um, It's clarity, tactics, and action. And so the very first part of that program is the clarity piece. And that's where we get very clear on the business structure, the goals, the offers, things like that. So we can move on to the more sexy, technical funnel stuff. I love what you built. Like I've been able to play around in the Facebook group, which is, and I love being in there. It's been really cool. How much help people get there has been spectacular. But really, like from your story, there came a point where you planted a flag and you said, I'm in the funnels area. Like yeah. the, the, the world may shake around me, but I'm in the funnels area. Mm-hmm. Why did you plant your flag and why did you stay? Why did I plant my flag there? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, when uh, I was first in the space, the platform of ClickFunnels Uh, you know, funnels were new, really. That wasn't really a word. Anybody knew what it was. I mean, people have been doing things like that, but to say funnels and, you know, have all this lingo lingo with it, you know. Um, But I noticed when, especially when ClickFunnels was new, there wasn't a lot of training on how to use the platform. So I took my uh, experience helping other clients with their funnels I basically recorded most of the things that I was doing and I created a training course on how to use ClickFunnels, right? From the very beginning. And the thing about creating courses around platforms like that is you have to have time to update them all the time. (laughs) And so whatever they changed their whole interface, that meant I would have to go through and redo my entire course. And that's when I just kind of left it, right? It just wasn't, it wasn't, and I was making way more money and having, you know, better results working one-on-one with clients and just building their stuff out. Um, but why did I plant my flag there? Well, there was a need, first of all, at the very beginning for this kind of training and this expertise. Whenever I first came in, I went all in and, um, there weren't a lot of people doing that. They were all kind of dabbling, but I became like, I set myself up as an expert from the get go. And so, And then, you know, the relationship that I built with Russell Brunson and the big team up there at ClickFunnels, uh, you know, being a certified partner, now being a member of their speaking team, it just became part of part of my model. Right. And I was an expert in it and I didn't want to reinvent that part. Like it just came natural to me and I it just stuck. Um, Another thing that where I've planted my flag is being a female in the space. And while I don't tout like women's rights or feminism or anything like that, that's not where I'm coming from, but there is a need to have more female representation in this digital marketing space. And if I can inspire others, whether they're man or woman to again, like plant their flag, right. And do the thing that they want to do then that's exactly what I'm here to do. It's not just about funnels. Funnels are a vehicle to get to the end result. And they've helped me grow personally and professionally for the past five years. And I don't really see that changing. Um, Every business can use these tactics and these uh, strategies. And it's just about finding the right person that you can connect with to help you achieve the goals that you want. There's so many awesome people out there that do things like I do, that do things like you do. Um, It's just a matter of, you know, making it known here we are and we're here to help you. And you'll you'll attract your people the more that you do that. So I don't know if that answered the question. (laughs) I kind of went around it a little bit. But I don't really have a reason like why did I plant my flag here? I don't know. It just kind of happened. And then the funnel kitchen 
I know it's all, it sounds all kitschy and cute or whatever, but it is serious business, right? <laughs> we're doing some big time stuff, but it doesn't mean that we can't have fun while we're doing it, right? So here's, here's a fun question because a lot of the clients that I've had, especially when I was getting started, were women with a message that just had this desire that it needed to be shared. When the women come in, they're focused on changing the world. Yeah. Like, have you seen those stories inside of the kitchen? And like, have you been able to see those grow? I think everybody that comes in and works with me through the kitchen, they all have that mission that they want to impact uh, change in the world. And whether they are helping families uh, create their own personal banking system. I have a client that I worked with that does that. Um, I have a woman, she's a single mom that uh, was an expert in retail for 13 years and now wants to go help other kind of struggling retail owners, small businesses, uh, improve their bottom line, right? And their experience as store owners. So it's funny because everybody has something so different that they're passionate about. And I get to be a catalyst to help them make that more powerful. Um, something I brought up in a recent exercise I did at a mastermind was, um, I think it's my, my hope that I have this impact on the people to keep them in a place of monumental momentum, right? If you just keep going, regardless if it's the funnels or the copywriting or the advertising or the Facebook lives or all the other stuff that goes along with it. But if I can stand behind them and be their cheerleader as well as their safety net, that is my purpose, right? I just want to encourage all of the people that I work with, all the people that come through, even my free group, like keep going. It's like, it's real easy to get discouraged in this space. It's real easy, especially if you're an entrepreneur or solopreneur and you're doing all of this alone most of the time behind a computer. So if I can just have enough impact to get somebody to kick into gear, to say yes to that opportunity, to say no to that other opportunity, to do whatever it is that's been holding them back, then that's really what my purpose is here. And that's really where my flag is planted. Funnels, like I said, are just kind of a vehicle to get to that end result. And uh, yeah, that's whenever I start talking about that type of impact and that type of contribution, um, that's where I really get inspired and fired up. That's my whole thing is just to help others get their message out to the masses. Well, and it sounds like in a lot of ways, the way that you're seeing things is that, which is really neat, everybody has a way to lift up society. Everybody has that gift. And if you can simply help them make that step, just that one step towards that goal of doing that, I mean, there are so few places in today's world that cheer on entrepreneurship because it's selfish. But a lot of the people who actually do this and are successful, they do it because they care about the other person yeah. more than they care about themselves. Yeah. And that's, that's the definition of entrepreneur. And I, I see that in you, but that's a really cool outlook. It's the, outlook. I believe the entrepreneurs, all of us, we are the ones that are impacting the world in massive numbers. It, it, I believe it. Every person that I surround myself with, every person I meet, not every person, many of the people, um, we all have some purpose here. And it, re it really is centered around impact and uh, influence in massive numbers. We don't want to play small. We don't want to shrink down and we don't want jobs. <laughs> so, um, I love being a part of that. It's like we're a part of this global movement, right? Even though we're all doing different things. There's a woman that I work with that she's an artist and her passion is just creating art and potentially helping others have a place to create their art too. That's very different than what I do. However, it doesn't make her mission any less important than mine. Um, if I can help her and guide her in the best ways to get her mission accomplished, then that's my win, right? Because then her impact on all the other artists uh, is going to be that much bigger. So it's, it's pretty spectacular if you think about it. If you think about we're all in this big global movement together.
And I think what's, I'm going to keep going on this just for a minute because it's caused my brain to explode. The cool thing too, is as we reach out, we do that. We're building a network of t- caring and supporting each other that outlasts everything else. Yeah. And that's what's neat because it doesn't matter. You don't have to be bought in on one specific product. We're all here no matter what to strengthen each other. We create this web around, around the world of support. Yes. How cool is that? And I'll tell you what, after leaving my teaching job and then not long after that, I got divorced. Um, and so I'm a single mom of two teenage sons. And, you know, whenever you go through those life changes, especially abruptly and all at once, you, you tend to maybe lose out, um, lose some of the old friendships that you had, not only because of those changes, but because of the changes that are happening within you as well. You, it's not that the people around you were bad or negative or anything like that. You're just different, right? You're growing. You're on this different path and not everybody understands it and not everybody is on that same path. And so, and you know, you might realize this when you go home uh, to your hometown for a reunion or you, everybody's getting back together at the holidays and you want to go hang out like it used to be, right? It used to be so fun and you used to have so much in common and whatever. And then you get there and you're like, uh, I have nothing to say to anybody right now. They don't understand what I do. They don't want to know what I do. And they're just happy, you know, living for Saturday. So uh, whenever I had really fully embraced this entrepreneur experience, I have made some of the most meaningful, impactful relationships of my life. Um, And the power that comes with that, not only are they a wonderful support network and for business, for one, um, but they're also supportive emotionally and they understand what what's going on here, right? Whenever we hit the dip sometimes or whenever we get down in the dumps and get real uncertain of what it is we're even trying to do here and we sometimes want to give up or we want to just crawl into the corner for a little bit, they're there to say, come on out. No, this is you. This is normal. You're going to be fine, but we got to keep going. So when you can surround yourself with people like that, that understand what this is all about and that we are here for a bigger reason than just you know, making some dollars, then uh, I, that's one thing I really, really love about the life that I've built and I'm still building are those awesome relationships with other people that have similar purposes uh, to mine. That is, thank you so much. I know we kind of went off topic and just kind of went on this for a minute, but it's, that's it's okay. really, if you talk about the kitchen, that's what you do. It is. And so, yeah, the kitchen, it's funny because if you think about if you're at a party, right? And they have the most beautiful stuff set up outside, like the fire pits on, the grills going, the drinks are even out there. You look around once in a while and you're like, where is everybody? And they're in the kitchen. They're inside hanging out around the sink and the dishwasher <laughs> like for whatever <laughs> reason. It does not matter how nice the place is or how not nice it is. It just happens that way. And that's one thing I love about what I am building and have built with the funnel kitchen. It is a place for community. It is a place for connection. Um, and it's a place where we can maximize our contribution together. Right. I love connecting people with others that can help support their goals and their mission. Right. And in the kitchen, that's exactly what happens. Uh, I learned a long time ago that I am not an expert at everything and I love surrounding myself with others that can fill in my gaps and I can, I love being able to show uh, or to introduce people to other people that can help them with their goals. Um, And so I get told a lot that I'm a powerful connector and I love that about the kitchen and the way that it has evolved into this awesome community of experts and users alike. So here's something interesting that you're doing that not a lot of people do. You've taken people who are, who are in need. Like there are people who are in pain. They need help with their funnels. They need help, which is that simple integration. They need those pieces. But then you've taken people that you know, instead of saying, I can do this and pounding yourself on the chest, I am the expert. You brought in people and said, these are the best people. Yeah. What? 
what inspired you to do that from the beginning? Because everybody wants to be the expert, but instead you said, here's the best person. You gave that resource. Yeah. Uh, why did I do that? Well, it's exhausting being a jack of all trades, first of all. And while I knew enough about certain things in building businesses, especially in the tech part, I wasn't the expert. And I found that my zone of genius is really the coaching side. The, the way that my brain works, I can see what I want. Uh, and so I map stuff out like I have behind me here, uh, if you can see me. Um, I love being able to take stuff out of people's brains and put it on a paper, right? And organize it in a way that then they can go to that expert and know exactly what they're asking for. They know exactly what they need to get out of that relationship with that next person and get results quicker without wasting time or money, right? Um, and so... For me, if I can connect an awesome, like I only work with awesome people. If I can connect one of the awesome people that I'm working with, with one of my awesome friends, that's an expert in that space. It's a win for everyone, right? I'm not getting kickbacks on all of those referrals or whatever. That's not why I do it. I want my clients to get the best results possible in the shortest amount of time. And I can't do it all. I know, like, I can't, like, I could barely do what I'm doing now. <laughs> so I'm not going to, and the worst thing I want to do is disappoint anybody or take longer than needs to be taken or not get the results that they really deserve. So I am so happy to be able to point people in the direction to hire other experts um, to get the job done. It's not about me. And I love that because not only are you helping the customer the best because you're in your zone of genius, but you recognize that when you step out of your zone of genius to help them something with, you could figure out for them, mm -hmm. you're doing them a disservice. Yeah. And believe me, I used to do that all the time. Whenever I would work with a one-on-one -on -one client, I would just try to handle all of it. And it was just so frustrating. And I think that's where my energy just started being so drained. And it just... It was taking longer than needed. I was spending so much time learning things or trying to figure stuff out. It's like, you know what? I don't want to, I would rather pay one of my friends, the expert, a thousand dollars to do the thing rather than me sit here and try to figure it out because that means I'm not serving at my highest capacity. So yes, learning uh, about my zone of genius, which that really was first coined uh, in a book called The Big Leap, I think. Uh, is where I first heard that term. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's where it was. It's a super short, fast read, but it's so good. Um, but whenever you can stay in that zone of genius, whatever it is that you're doing, and then surround yourself with people that can fill in those other gaps, that's where your power is going to be most great. Yeah, no, I read, um, what was that book? I have it over here. Good to Great. Because um, oh, I, yeah. I was a business, I was a business major. And so they talked about that and they're talking about, and you find the thing that you can be a hedgehog in where you are the best it possible is doing that. And you just focus on that. Let, let, the, let everyone absolutely. else do everything else, but you make that work. Yeah, absolutely. That's where you've, I've been able to step into my power, so to speak, and really just take charge of, of what I want for my life and then help others even that much more and that much better uh, with what their challenges are. It's really, it's really been a great shift to not try to do it all by myself. That's so cool. Okay. So, um, I'm going to ask Amanda a couple more questions two specifically. One of which is I mean, all the clients that she's seen, how has she seen the fastest growth? Like what is the fastest path to success? I'm going to ask her that on the other side, if you want to get access to that stay to the end and listen, but Amanda, if they want to learn more about you, where should they go? It's so simple, Ben. <laughs> they just go to funnelkitchen.com. You can learn more about me, what I do, what I offer, how you can work with me, uh, my free uh, resources, all kinds of stuff. And funnelkitchen.com is an amazing place. Like it's, it's fun to be there because it's that place where you're an entrepreneur that's not alone. And, and that means everything in the world. So thank you, Amanda. I appreciate you being on. 
Dang, was that cool or was that cool, guys? I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, but I actually do something very, very special. After the interview is done, I actually record two more questions. Those two questions spark a whole new conversation, and I record those, and I'm happy to give you access to that. All you have to do is go to hackthatfunnelradio.com. When you enter your email address there, I will automatically give you access to every single interview's two extra questions and the conversation that sparks off of that. Go to hackthatfunnelradio.com to get your access now.